All right, cool. Press guard and his knuckles. This should be interesting. It's already not different from Sonic Zone. Granted, I don't know exactly what I was expecting, but... Oh, well, we'll give it time. There might be something different. Ugh. So, I wonder if the propaganda that... Or, I wonder if the newspapers on here have Knuckles' face on them. Probably not, because... You know, why would they have Knuckles' face on them? I mean, here's the thing. Sonic as a series is always... Sonic as a series has way too many side characters. I will absolutely 100% agree to that. We should have stopped at Shadow and Rouge. And even a lot of people feel like they're too many. I, however, do understand the point of having a, uh, I guess, a, a dark or an evil side character, right? If that makes sense. I understand that. I understand the want of having a dark to the light side. That makes sense to me. So I can understand Shadow. I can understand Rouge. She's like an evil Knuckles. What I can understand is Silver. What I can understand is Blaze. What I can understand is Marine the Raccoon. What I can understand is Cream the fucking Rabbit. Why do we have these characters? Honestly, to an extent, I can't even... To an extent, I can't even understand why we have Amy Rose, because Sally was... Or Princess Sally was originally Sonic's uh, love interest, wasn't she? I, I distinctly remember that. Being his love interest in the TV show. For Princess Sally. Um, I wonder if I'm supposed to drop down. I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Ugh. Not having the ability to jump as high as both simultaneously a pain in the ass and not as much of a problem as you'd think it'd be. But, yeah, so I, I, I can even kind of, to an extent, understand why you'd want to get rid of Amy. I don't mind Amy. I enjoy Amy as a character. She's interesting in the sense that she just pulls hammers out of nowhere and is essentially the chi chi to Sonic's Goku if we're making Dragon Ball comparisons. But, I digress. I understand these things. What I don't understand is all these additional characters that don't belong in the Sonic series. Honestly, I'm not even much of a fan of the Chaotix. I don't dislike them. I think they're interesting. I like Vector, I like Charmy, I like Espio. Love Mighty. But there's 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 a limit to oh no that was bad no that would be bad there's a limit to how many characters should be in a series how many characters should get focus and Sega has the problem of putting too many characters in the series and not giving the other characters that people actually like focus like Knuckles and like Tails like okay why don't we get a little bit of Knuckles personalization for his levels why is it literally just a copy and paste of Sonic with maybe a few differences. Knuckles has some interesting mechanics to him. The ability to glide would be a lot more fle or interesting to flesh out. That wasn't smart. That wasn't smart. Going up. Is that there specifically for Knuckles? Or is that there for Sonic too? I don't remember if that was there for Sonic's. But, oh god damn it, screw your disappearing blocks. Let me just cheat my way up here. Destroy that thing that's supposed to be in friggin' Mushroom Hill Zone. Some of these enemy palette swaps are kind of just hilarious. They almost feel kind of low effort. But... I know that that's not the case. Like, I know for a fact that that's not the case. These are definitely... This is definitely no low effort game. This is... This is beyond high quality. This is... This is... This is what we've needed in a Sonic title for a long time. And, uh, this reminds me of something that I was watching from an old JonTron video that you can find if you look hard enough, where, uh, he was talking about how Sonic is a series that you can't really do much with to begin with, and he has no right being compared to Mario, to which, to which, uh, because it was too hectic, and to which I was kind of like, well, that's entirely an opinion-based, you know, reason, John, just because... A game is hectic to you does not necessarily make it hectic to others. Sonic is a hectic in fast-paced series, and that would be the point of the game. And, okay, you might not be a fan of Mario, which... I like Mario. I like Mario games. I like Mario World. I like Super Mario Bros. 3. That's probably my favorite Mario game. You know, it's a great, great series. 
but to say that Sonic and Mario don't have any comparisons is or don't deserve to be compared just kind of feels a little bit diehard fanboyish like it's not more than just their their platforms and that they're rivals like the gameplay styles are different yeah But Sega literally designed Sonic with the sole purpose of competing with Nintendo, and it did it very well. Sonic is Mario. Sonic is everything that Mario isn't. Sonic is fast-paced. Sonic is action-oriented. Sonic is what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you say hectic. It's very high-speed energy or high-speed, high-energy, you know, gameplay. Sure, you might not like it, but that doesn't mean that other people don't. And I get that I just kind of come off like a bitching fanboy, but... The reason I bring this up is because I wanted to continue my comparison of Mario and Sonic from earlier with another kind of observation that I had from listening to that particular... Uh... You know... Video. Ugh, come on. I do not like ha not having the ability to jump as high as I want. Come on, dude. Just, 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 just fire your little saw blades. Destroy your thing. There we go. Or, okay. So am I just not supposed to be able to hit him? Like, is that what this is about? Why can't I hit him? That's not fair. Come on, asshole. God, you really need to arc your jump to hit him. Oh, wonder. So he has a height limit, it looks like. No, you're not taking all my rings. That's what I call a lucky save. And this dude is just, like, almost impossible to fight because of the height distance. I'm just gonna have to supersonic him. Or super knuckles. Speaking of that articulation, where was I? Comparing Sonic and Mario. There's a lot more to them than they're just platformers that you need to compare. In terms, you can compare their level designs, you can compare... I mean, they're all fundamentally the same in terms of level design. And you can compare their level designs outside of just, well, Sonic has loops and Sonic has, you know, ups and downs and Sonic has this, that, and the other thing. You know, Sonic is action-oriented. I'm not going to say that Mario needs loops and Mario needs, you know, to be able to run off ramps and do high-speed loops. That's why Sonic's better. No, that, that that would be stupid. That would not be a Mario game that I would play because that's not what I look for in a Mario game. I look for some well-thought-out platforming and I look for some well-thought-out boss fights. I look for some interesting worlds, key difference worlds to explore. I look for a lot in a Mario game that I don't find in a Sonic game. But I also look for some things that I find similar. Like multiple... Oh god. I'm just gonna not do that. But I look for like multiple pathways. Mario didn't really have many multiple pathways. And Sonic was... That was one of the big selling points. Was uh, multiple pathways. Multiple ways to finish a stage. Mario... I mean, it has some stages. Yes. Where... Um, you can go different routes. Some. But they're usually ones where you're supposed to, uh, what's the phrase I'm looking for? End the game? Hey, is that a, how do you, that's, there's a ring down there, how do you get that? But, like, okay, uh, let me put you where my mind is, where I'm thinking right now. Um, just so I don't sound like an idiot. I want to give you, like, an idea of my mindset with this. Okay. Let's take, for example, most Mario stages. The goal is always the same point, and you're usually always going the same way to get to the end of the goal. In terms of different pathways in a Mario game, you have the option of choosing the upper or the lower route, but they're both fundamentally still on the same screen. You know, it's, it's basically... Here, I'll do, do an example. To take the upper or lower route in a Mario game would basically be the equivalent of... Do I want to jump up here? Or do I want to run down here? With the end goal being that either way, I'm still getting to this point. 
here. If that makes sense. Granted, you can't do that with the game, but I'm just kind of trying to use this as an example. Whereas Sonic's multiple pathways, they tend to branch out a lot more. There's a lot more uh, to them. And you can completely take one pathway and never see another one. And sometimes they intersect and sometimes they don't, but there's a lot... There are multiple ways to get to the end goal. Whereas with Mario, usually when you encounter multiple ways to get to the end goal, like, let's say a ghost house from Super Mario World, or, uh... Excuse me. I had a itchy mouth. But, or a, um... Like from New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and New Super... Er, yeah, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and New Super Mario Bros. Wii U, where you have the uh, option to get to the multiple pathways that um, open up different pathways on the world. That's something different. And that's pretty neat, and I like that, but that's not necessarily the same as how Sonic does multiple pathways, but they do both have multiple pathways, kinda, if you want to make that argument. But it's not the same, but you can still make the comparison. I feel like Mario would be a much more interesting game if it did incorporate a much more wider level exploration in its 2D games. Because in the 3D games, you have a lot of exploration kind of, you know, to find things and shit. But in the 2D games, you're very much kind of directed to go in one direction. And if you want to find a secret, it's usually just a small room that gives you a dragon coin or gives you, like, an extra life room. You know, there's nothing that you could really, uh find beyond just oh there's a secret room that contains this secret item here whereas what i'm talking about would be i'd like to see reasons to replay the same levels be fine just fighting secrets i'd like to just be able to go through the level an entirely different route or you know um see something that i haven't seen before in terms of how to complete a level not just find a secret Hey, oh, that was, that was really unexpected. Okay. So this is probably going to be both simultaneously easier and harder, since you can glide into him. But, uh, no, I'm not coming over there. Nope. 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 I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get exploded on. No. Damn it! I must not be making much sense, but I, I swear it makes sense to me. And that's the only thing that matters in my demented little world. Come on, butthole. Take damage. And stop throwing ninja stars. They're not fun. He looks like he's throwing star use. This game was very heavily Pokemon inspired. I get that feeling. He's throwing star use at me. No. 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 Nope. 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 You're not kidding me. Nope. Nope. Okay, that one might get me. Nope. Damn it! Press guard in Act 2 zones boss is going to be the end of me. Those ninja stars are just so hard to avoid. Nope. Take three hits. Ugh. Stop leaping all over the place, you bastard. Take your hits like a man. Fight me like you mean it. Oh. That's not good. Wait, what? No! But like I said, it's just my opinion on how you can compare the games. But for John to say that they don't even belong to stand in the same class kind of just irked me a little bit. Because there's a lot more to 
Sonic and Mario, then just, you know, they came out at the same time. That's why people compare them. But at the same time, there's a lot of difference between them. And the fact that he also said that you couldn't get any enjoyment out of Sonic nowadays, it being a tired concept. You could say the same thing about Mario. I mean, save the princess, use power-ups, get through the levels, end of the world. Sonic, run as fast as you can, memorize the level, get the Chaos Emerald to get Super Sonic. They're, all, they're both fundamentally tired concepts, more or less. If you really want to make that argument. But that's enough of my complaining. You'll get more of it in the next episode if you stick around. Until then, this is Nobody.